Hi, my name is Diana Tushinsky, and I consider myself a new artist. I'm, uh, I've been in the art field for only about uh, 10 years, and I love it. I, I, I still have my full-time career, and people ask me about that, do you do your art full-time? Um, I have my full-time career, but I can't not paint, and it's my creative outlet. When I was uh, a teenager, I loved art, but at the time, my mother said that it would be better if I had a more um, mainstream occupation, and so I, I went into finance. But all the way through, I had creative outlets, and when I got to a certain point in my career, I thought, okay, now I can devote some time, and I started taking uh, classes at the Dundas Valley School of Art, the Art Gallery of Burlington, and had many fabulous, fabulous instructors there, which would allow me to try different styles, different techniques, and um, be able to get a good grounding in what interested me. When What inspires me? I love the 17th century French painters. When I've been to Paris, I and I've been four times. I always go to the Louvre, I head straight for the 17th century French painters, and I sit there and gape at their beautiful, beautiful work. My work is not so realistic. I like more of a um, impressionistic style, and I've even gotten into abstract, and I'm still evolving. I don't think as an artist you're ever done. Maybe when I'm 90, I will feel like I've developed my permanent style, but I like trying new things. I work mainly in acrylic. Um, I've only tried oil just a little bit, and watercolor just a little bit, and pastel just a little bit, but I really like a acrylics because of what I can do with them, what I, I can achieve some of those other effects with, with gels and other mediums um, in order to be able to have a, a chunky type of look. I can use a brush, I can use a, um, a palette knife, and so what so inspires me is nature. For instance, um, this um, is a spring type setting that um, I did a series of, and you can see that the colors look fresh and new with the sunlight. Um, and I used a palette knife here and some, some chunky gel, uh, which is, um, I believe, a, a matte, and then some that was a semi-gloss in order to be able to achieve the effects with a hatching uh, then with a, the palette knife. And to me, this looks like a, a spring brook. Uh, here, what I've done is uh, a nest, because a nest, I mean, it's a metaphor for many things, many different stages of life. And um, I saw a, a fo photograph that my girlfriend had done of a robin's nest. And we have a robin that nests uh, near our garage. It's not the same robin. But every spring, we get a robin's nest. And um, they're there, and they make me feel like we're a part of their home. So the, the, the nest is a, a symbolism for, for, for family, for um, transitions, for um, struggle, uh, and it's, um, uh, I like people to, to look at my paintings and find in them something that means something to them.